it's a lot of overlap with the audience, uh, uh, investors, uh, startups, uh, some people are very, very successful, yet they still have this hunger to attend these events, they're getting a lot of value out of it. Mm. Um, when promoting an event like this, what kind of the key benefits uh, that you that would people derive from uh, listening to you or attending one of your events or, or an event that we would hold our networking events in a pathway to grow? Um, what, how would I sell you? I mean, what, what would uh, be your unique selling point uh, to, to, the, to the attendees, to the audience? Yeah, well, it's, it's probably it's, you're going to get a mixture of business people, aren't you? Yes, and um, sometimes. You know, business people, they might be asking the question, what's in it for me? You know, what, what can I learn from it? Uh, and I think, you know, it comes back to, you know, that we were speaking before we even started doing this, this yeah. interview. Yeah? We were speaking earlier about, you know, the changes in business now. Yeah. And uh, we live in very uncertain times and business is going to change rapidly as we move into the future. And, you know, technology is, is assisting that rapid, rapid change, you know, and there's globalization and there's computerization. Yeah. And, you know, if you look at all, you know, the robotics that are coming in now, you know, you just keep there's more and more information on robotics that's being developed. So, you know, the future is, you know, it's interesting and there's lots of opportunity if we look into the future and you know, the way technology is going to enhance the way we, we live, I think. But at the same time, it's also going to change industry in a rapid way. And, um, you know, business people have to be willing to adapt. You know, they've got to be ready to adapt. I mean, you look at some of the biggest, the biggest brands on the planet that didn't adapt, right? And now they're out of business, you know? Look at Nokia. You know, they were... They were leaders, weren't they? World leaders, and then they didn't adapt, and now where are they? You know, so um, the same thing happened with Blockbuster. You know, uh, there's loads of companies oh, yeah. that, that so weren't ready to so adapt, and it's so the same with small, medium-sized businesses. You know, so you've got to be flexible and adaptable, and you've got to be willing to, you know, manage adversity. And every business is going to face adversity at some point in, in, in their career, you know, at some point in their journey. So, you know, anybody who's running that business, the team who's running that business, or the the, the CEO. They've got to be, you know, adaptable and be able to handle the adversity. So I think uh, if somebody's a business person, they think, well, what am I going to get out of that? Um, then I'm going to be able to touch on that. And I think it's really just also, again, at the end of the day, it's about managing their mindset, you know, continuously. Because you, I don't think you can ever get to a place where you think, okay, I've done, you know, my mind is great now. No, it's perfect. You know, it's, 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 it's complete. You know, there's always going to be a new challenge. You know, if a business is, um, is you know, all business is about growth, all business is about profit. And all business is about okay. How can we exceed our next target? You know, what's the next target? And if you're going to do that, you're going to then you're going to come up against challenges and obstacles, and then it's about managing those effectively. And you're going to have to have the right outlook to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, eighty percent of everything in life is psychology. Twenty percent is mechanics. It's the same for any. Eighty you percent know, is psychology. Twenty percent mechanics. Yeah. Uh, and some cases, I would say it's probably even more in yeah. terms of psychology. It's probably eighty-five, ninety percent. You know, versus ten or fifteen percent. You know, as the mechanics, it's you know, it's never really you know, it's always how you see it. You know, it's always you know how you approach it. You know, and how you respond to whatever is happening day to day. You know, that's the most important thing I think that really makes people even more successful and even more fulfilled. You know, because it's not really just about being even more successful. Because you know, you can accumulate and accumulate and accumulate, and then if you if you've got that that, that hunger to always accumulate, yeah. then how much is enough? Yeah, you know, it's you know how much money did, did uh, Steve Jobs take to his grave? None of it, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's where this is where yeah, envy and ego and all these sort of things comes in, and obviously that fulfillment is the, is is the key, as you said. That's yeah, it's, exactly. It's it's um, it's enjoying the process, smelling the roses. They being say, you know, moment, you take time to smell the roses. Yeah, being in the moment, as yeah. they say as well. Yeah. yeah, have the drive, which is great. You know, yeah. drive is great, but at the same time, it's like you know, how can I also enjoy the process and really be aware you know yeah. moment to moment mm -hmm. you know it's like because we're in such a hurry sometimes to get somewhere we forget you know Rush what we've seen on the way we haven't even noticed it yeah. before you know it 70 years ago yeah. <laughs> it flies <laughs> it flies by yeah. so um, it's I would say it's you know it's, it's managing that managing any adversity that's that's going to occur uh -huh. um, managing change uh -huh. this industry is changing uh -huh. and um, business as a result is going to be on the, on the receiving end of that yeah. Depending on which industry you're in, yeah. you know, people if they're in property or they're in business or yeah. if they're in online marketing or if yeah. they're in sales, yeah. everybody's going to face some kind of challenge. You know, yeah. right now people are right now. I mean, if you look at what's happening right now with markets and how the markets have dropped, and how people are, you know, yeah. the re the repercussions of that, and how people are reacting to that, yeah. is um, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Thank you very much for that, and uh, hopefully that at, at the event that you're going to 
speak for us, uh, but hopefully the audience will get that value yeah. uh, um, out. Um, we usually have a second guest speaker, uh, talk, uh, it's centered around books, uh, self-personal development. Uh, it doesn't always have to be around personal development, just mm. something that, that's helped them along their journey. Mm. Um, it could be an autobiography as well. Um, or you know, the, the usual ones I mentioned are about, you know, Think and Grow Rich and uh, the Dale Carnegie books. Um, mm. We've got Laura Diaku who was at the pin. She's yes. going to be our, our, our book reviewer in um, at one of our events, forthcoming events. Uh, Sad to say, himself has done the you know the slight edge. You can see here the book club. Yeah. Um, is there a particular book that uh, that you mention a lot? Is it a book? We're just looking for a recommendation here that uh, a current book that would help someone in the, in their journey. Yeah. I, I, you, you mentioned autobiographies and immediately you know, four or five titles jumped to my mind there. I've read so many different books and I like reading autobiographies and I like reading um, books on particular individuals you know, and their, their journeys. You know. A great book that I read was, uh, was about Conrad Hilton, which is called Be My Guest. And I happened to read that because I was staying in, in a Hilton in America once and I opened the drawer and the, the book was there. And it was a, with a note on the book that said, Be Our Guest, you know, this book is a gift. And I looked at the cover and it said, "Be my guest." And it's uh, it's about how Conrad so Hilton. <laughs> yeah, it's about how Conrad Hilton built his built his Hilton Empire, right? And the challenges that he came up against, yeah. you know, when he built the Hilton Empire, yeah. and how he the very first hotel he built, you know, and all the challenges he faced in terms of how he didn't have enough money and you know and the the, the, the construction of that hotel, etc. But that was a fascinating book to read. I read uh, another great book I read was about the, the lady, the first lady who sailed um, right around the. The Earth, you know, um, single-handedly. Mm -hmm. What's her name again? Ellen MacArthur, I think her name is. Mm -hmm. um, young lady, young Scottish lady. Brilliant book, amazing book. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable challenge. Mm -hmm. Imagine being on the ocean on your own, right, for yeah. months. Yeah. Uh, you know, just, and, and the challenges that she had to endure, you know, when her mast broke and she had to climb up and fix the mast and no one, and on your own, right? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, that was a fantastic book to read. Um, but in terms of business books, I mentioned one earlier, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Dale Carnegie is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, any of Napoleon Hill's books are great. Um, but uh, a, a good book to read, which is a very, it's a difficult book to read, but it's ranked as one of the top 15 in the, or the latest, the last time I looked at it was number 15 in the top business books of all time, which was um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. But that can be quite a difficult read for people. Uh, yeah, brilliant book. Um, but there's so many, you know, there's, uh, the E myth is brilliant. Yeah. E myth. E -myth, the e -myth, the e -myth, yeah. And the E myth revisited. Yeah, exactly. That's all about entrepreneurship. And anyone who's starting out in business, that would be a good book for them to read. Yeah. Um, people who have just you know only been in business a short while. Um, no, thank, that's, uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And uh, maybe touch on that book there. Yes. Oh yes. You've you've, <laughs> <laughs> on purpose. you've, given, you've given me a great gift. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Which is the sales acceleration that's formula, which I'm actually very very keen to read. Yeah. It's, um, it's, it's a title that I haven't heard of yet, but I, I love selling and I love, you know, everything's about sales, isn't it? Yeah. Sales, you know, if you, Life is a lot of people don't like selling. We're all selling. Selling all the makes drugs. them uncomfortable. They, yeah. or, but uh, sales is really about serving. So if this, is, if this can, if I can learn something new here about, um, you know, uh, sales is... Yeah. is I, hope, uh, I hope that you could read this evolved. in time for the, the, the event. I will so definitely so give it a bash. mini review. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've got long enough. I've got long enough to read. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I will. Um, yeah. So, but, when, when but you mentioned earlier, Seth, um, yeah. you said that sometimes people, you know, they, they might find it difficult to read a book cover yeah. to cover, and I, I would agree with you. Sometimes people, uh, it really depends on how fast they read and developing that ability to read fast. It's uh, not just reading, which you well, can do now. You can do speed, audio. speed reading. Yeah, just audio is good too. Yeah. Listen to it in your car all yeah, the time. You your walk points and so forth. When yeah. audio, yeah. audio is very good. Yeah, but I, I do like to read a, a, a physical book. You know, yeah. I, I've got a lot of books on my on my iPad. But even you know, if somebody's doing ten minutes or fifteen minutes yeah. a day, I mean, I think twenty minutes in the morning. You know, what I mean, first thing in the morning, just some reading. Twenty minutes at night. You know. Or sometime during the day, you know, you find some time, 20 minutes, you know, read. This is a good thing to do. Uh, but um, you can do speed reading courses these days. I know a friend of mine who can read, you know, he, he set himself a book, uh, sorry, a challenge yeah. this year to read one book a day. Wow. And uh, so far, he's on track. So it can be done. Yeah. So um, he, How long does it take he was actually, her book? I think he came second in the world for speed reading. Wow. Um, how so, did they prove, how did they test them? <laughs> Uh, well, you, you, you can actually do photo reading now. I don't yeah. know if you've heard of this, photo reading. 
a friend of mine runs a course that, called Marilyn Devonish. Her name is Marilyn Devonish. Look to you. you. Yeah, you, 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 you actually just take a photograph of each page with your, with your subconscious. Yeah. Um, you stare at it. It's, a, it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time, <laughs> and I just I need to find the time to do it. Uh, but yeah, I came across it a long time ago, but uh, through a man called um, I think his name is Paul Sheely. I think his name's correctly. Uh, but photo reading, yeah, you literally photograph the book very very quickly. You go through the book, and it would be it would be ideal for a book that doesn't have it's not an emotional book. It wouldn't be like an autobiography perhaps or a novel. But uh, it would be a book that's you know technical, yeah. uh, because you know, there's no story there, is there? It's just technical analysis, you know, and data. So you read it. Apparently, you photograph it very quickly with your with your with your, with your eye acts like a camera, doesn't it? Yeah. So you photograph it. Then you just you know, and what happens is um, you, your brain can then assimilate that information and will literally link it to any other information that is similar in nature. Mm. And then the, people are tested. You can test people, and they can literally remember paragraphs word for word you know days later weeks later months right. later so it's um apparently it's a fantastic uh, skill to develop so well, no, th uh, no thank you very much and uh, really i'm looking forward to reading this thank you i appreciate you giving me this gift actually this I, book i don't know if, I I, love if somebody read. wanted to get a hold of you you mentioned facebook you're very active you mentioned your website what's the best way for if somebody wants to do sort of find out a little bit more about who you are where you are you know, you know, how, to, how, to, how do they contact you? Uh, Alan speaks. Yeah, yeah uh, my, my website, I'm currently having it rebuilt, but at the moment they can find me on, 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 the, on the web at alanspeaks.com. A-double-L-A-N speaks. speaks, as in speaks, yeah, speaks you know, .com. I'm on Facebook. I've got a page on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Alan Speaks. So although I do have my own personal profile on Facebook, I've also got a page.